Hey guys, welcome to another brand new video of WP Maps. In this video, we will show you how to create booking form using your form builder, my form. So without further ado, let's get to the point straight away. First up, go to the dashboard and navigate to plugins and then click add new. It will take a bit of time to show up, so just wait. Yeah, so now you can see a list of plugins showing up. All you have to do is go to the search bar and type Metform and then press enter. So now you can see that Metform is showing up right on the top. At this point, you have to install the plugin. But in my case, it's already installed. So therefore, I have to just activate the plugin. But in your case, this button will show up with install now text, as you can see on your right. So once you install it, you can activate it from here. Alternatively, you can even upload the plugin manually. But for that, you have to have zip format of the plugin. So for that, just go to the top and click upload plugin button so as you can see that here you can upload the plugin in zip format so after that you can install it just pressing the install now button so yeah so once you're done then you have to activate it as i said earlier but you can even activate in other ways as well like you have to go to the install plugin tab so click install plugin step. So now you can see all the plugins that you have in your website listed here. The look for map form. So yeah, I, all you have to do now is activate it. So click the activate button. It will take a bit of time. So, yeah. So now you can see that Metform is activated. So you are done activating Metform. You can see Metform Pro as well in this list of plugins, but you don't need that as booking form can be created with the free version. So what you have to do now is to go to the dashboard again and navigate to pages and then click add new. It will take a bit of time. So yeah. Now you have to add a title for your page. And then choose elementary full width as template. And save the changes. So once you have done that, you have to switch to the Elementor window. For that, click the button Edit with Elementor. So yeah, now you are completely in the Elementor window. So what you have to do now is to look for Matte Form in the widget section. So go to the search bar and type Matte Form. So you can see the Matte Form widget here, all you have to do is drag and drop it to the designated area and here it is, you can see a new section created with the text, no content is added yet, this is because you didn't give any input. So now you can edit the form, so for that click the edit form button and select new enter a form name and then you can click the edit form button right at the bottom all right so now you are entirely into the mat form domain and from here you can start creating your booking form but remember that before you start creating the form you have to decide how many input fields you want in your form 
in this tutorial we will add 10 input fields in the form so let's start so at first you have to create sections to add the input fields so for that click the plus icon on the screen you can see and add the double sections so this is how we will create three more double sections the remaining two sections will be single section okay now we will begin creating input fields for our booking form we have already created the required sections as you can see on the screen so now we will move on to the widget section and drag and drop the required widgets our first input field will be first name so we will select the text widget and drop it to the designated area so you can see the first input field on the screen so you can now rename the label first name you can also display the placeholder as you wish or you can even delete the placeholder so in our case we are just deleting because we don't want to show any placeholder here okay so now we will move on to the next input field that will be our last name so in the similar way we will drag and drop the text widget so showing up so we'll rename the level and also hide the placeholder or even delete the placeholder so that's done so this is how we will um, add all our input fields uh, in the similar way so let's check them out one by one okay so like you can also add help text for different input fields if you want for example uh, for mobile number input field we can add help text like you can add you can give a hints like how they can add their mobile number now we will move on to the setting option for each of the input field and see whether anything can be applied or not okay so now we can um, set each of the input field as mandatory field if you want you can do that and in the booking form surely there will be some fields which are mandatory so you can just you know enable this toggle similar way you can even do the same for others as well
So everything looks okay. So now we can update and close the window. Okay, so it looks perfect on the back end. So let's check the preview. So we will now fill up each of the input field and submit the booking form and check if the form gets submitted or not. Let's put a check in date. Also a check on date. Number of adult five. Number of children maybe two. Message it's optional. You can write a message. So all the input fields are filled in. So let's submit. Here you go. As you can see, your form is submitted successfully.